Hi Bramford, I hope you're all okay and you're all um, keeping yourselves busy, doing all your work and playing in the garden, looking after all your grown-ups and whoever you are with. I did say I was going to read some stories to you and I've had this delivered and there are 20 books in here so hopefully I'll do one a day to you. I'm not sure how long they are for so we'll have to see because they're new to me as well. But as you can see, there's one missing and the one that I've picked to read to you today is the cat in the hat so let's find out what happens in this story the sun did not shine it was too wet to play we sat in the house and that all that cold cold wet day i sat there with sally we sat there with two and i said how i wish we had something to do too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, sit, sit and sit. And we did not like it. Not one little bit. Bump! And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. We looked, then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why don't you sit there like that? I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we have lots of good fun that it is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks and I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here, he should not be about, he should not be here when your mother is out. No, no, have no fear, have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of fun if you wish, with a game that I call up, up, with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is not fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high and I stand on a ball. With a book in one hand and a cup on my head, but that is not all I can do, said the cat. Look at me, look at me, said the cat, with a cup and a cake on top of my head, hat. I can borrow, I can hold up to two books, I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship, and some milk on a dish, and look. I can hop up and down on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you know, you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold the toy ship and the little toy man. And look, with my tail, I can hold a red fan. I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. This is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh, no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it. Not one little bit. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house, look at this, look at that. You sank our toy ship, sank it deep in the cake. You shock up, you shut, shock up our house and you bent our new rake. You should not be here when our mother is not. You get out of this house, said the fish in the pot. But I like to be here, oh I like it a lot, said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot. I will not go away, I do not wish to go. And so, 
said the cat in the hat. So, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. And then he ran out, and then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back in with a box. A big red wood box, it was not shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat, take a look. Then he got up on top with a tip on his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things, I will show to you now. You will like these two things, said the cat with a, said the cat with a bow. I will pick up the hook, you will see something new. Two things, and I call them thing one and thing two. These things will not bite you, they will want to have fun. Then out of the box came two thing, thing two and thing two, one, and they ran to us fast. They said, how do you do? Would you like to shake hands with one thing one and thing two? And Sally and I did not know what to do. So we had to shake hands with thing one and thing two. We shook their hand, two hands, but our fish said, no, no, those things should not be in this house. Make them go. They should not be here when your mother is not. Put them out, put them out, said the fish in the pot. Have no fear, little fish, said the cat in the hat. These things are good things and we have them a pet. They are our team. Oh, so tame. They have come here to play. They will give you some fun on this very wet, wet day. Now here is a game that I like, said the cat. They like to fly kites, said the cat in the hat. No, not in this house, said the fish in the pot. They should not fly kites in a house, they should not. Oh, the things they will bump, oh, the things they will hit. Oh, I do not like it, not one little bit. Then Sally and I saw them, saw them run down the hall. We saw these two things bump their kites on the wall. Bump, thump, thump, bump down the wall in the hall. Thing one and thing two and thing one, they ran up, they ran down. On the strike of one kite, we saw Mother's new gown. Her gown with the dots that are pink, white and red. Then we saw one kite bump on the head of her bed. Then those things ran about with big jump, bumps, jumps and kicks and with hops and big thumps and all kinds of bad tricks. And I said, I do not like the way that they play. If mother could see this, oh, what will she say? Then our fish said, look, look. And we fish shut with fear. Your mother is on her way. Do you hear? Oh, what will she do to us? What will she say? Oh, she will not like to find us this way. So do something fast said the fish. Do you hear? I saw her, your mother, your mother is near. So as fast as you can, think of something to do. You will have to get rid of thing one and thing two. So as fast as I could, I went after my net and I said, with my net, I can get them, I bet. I bet with my net, I can get those things yet. Then I let down my net, it came down with a plop and I had them at last. These two things had to stop. Then I said to the cat, Now as you do, as I say, you pack up those things and you take them away. Oh dear, said the cat. You did not like our game. Oh dear, what a shame, what a shame, what a shame. Then he shut up the things in the box with the hook and the cat went away with a sad kind of look. This is not good, said the fish. Has he gone away? Yes, but your warm mother will come. She will find the big mess and this mess is so big and so deep and so tall we cannot pick it all up. There is no way at all. And then, who was back in the house? Why the cat? Have no fear of this mess, said the cat in the hat. I always pick up all my playthings and so on. I will show you another good trick that I know. Then he, we saw him pick up all those things that were down. He picked up the kite, the rake, the gown, the milk, the string, the books, the dish, the fan and the cup and the ship and the fish. Then he put them all away. Then he said, that is that. And then he was gone with a tip of his hat. Then our mother come in and she said to, to us too, did you have fun? Tell me, what did you do? And Sally and I did not know what to say. Should we tell her the things that went on that day? Should we tell her about it? No, what should we do? Well, what would you do if your mother had asked you what you got up to that day? 
So that was the story. So I'll leave you with that question. What do you think you would do if you was that person in that book and you got up to all them things with a cat in the hat and thing one and two? What would you say to your mum? Have a think. Mm. I hope I'll read another one tomorrow. Um, and I hope you're all enjoy you all enjoyed that story because I did and I'll hopefully get to read them all to you because they sound very fun. So enjoy! <laughs>